Hello, time travelers. Hello, human. Human. We, hopefully more than one person is watching this video about keto pumpkin pie. Normally, uh, for the holidays, I like to make keto pumpkin cheesecake. But what did you tell me this year? Pie good. Yeah, pie good. I don't remember. You said you just want to try regular old pie. Oh. And then I found this. Let me show you guys closer up. This was sitting around from me, me not using it for whatever reason. I was like, oh no, is it expired? Did I waste it? And in this case, that's not the expiration date. The expiration, there is, and this, oh no, it's expired. But it's like, oh no, it actually expires this year. So, huh, December 2022. Hey, it's editing me here. The recipe that I actually used, I have linked in the descriptables. It's off some random article somewhere or whatever. It's one of those that you have to scroll down for days to find the actual recipe. Don't say I didn't warn you. To start with, you need to make the crust. And you put half a stick. It's not a focus, focus. You put half a stick of butter in a bowl and melt it in the microwave. And a half a stick is the same as a quarter cup. I got this almond flour. I keep it in a gallon bag to keep it good and not going stale. And you need to have a cup and a half of that in your bowl with the butter. And a quarter cup of sweetener, you can use allulose or, or monk fruit or erythritol, but this recipe is for allulose or erythritol based off of the sweetness. And just go ahead and, and grab your, your big tub of allulose that you accidentally put cocoa powder in the other night when you were really tired. Yeah, I was gonna was say, thinking, why is there brown in it? Yeah, there's brown in it because I was tired and I put my cocoa powder in the sweetener. So one quarter cup, toss. You tossed it all over the counter. I did? Oops. <laughs> it, that got tossed all over the counter. Just because opening it makes it toss all over the counter. And a quarter teaspoon of pink salt. One egg. And a half teaspoon of vanilla extract. Toss. And then bend over for the camera and look for your pie pan because you forgot to get it earlier. Where do I keep sits? Is it over here? There it is. And spray that down with a coconut spray. While he does that, stir this up. I like to use a wooden spoon. Get it all together. Scrape the sides so the sweetener and almond flour want to be together instead of being separated. Here, you know how to do that. Put that in there. Put it in there by putting it in there. I'm making crust. I haven't made crust before. Oh, you helped me a couple times. I know what crust is. Use your hands for this part. Go like this. I'm gonna flatten it out and make sure it's all covered because it has to hold the pie. Wow, it's like it's crust. <laughs> See how I have to push it down and thin it out in order for it to get enough coverage? In the meantime, I'm supposed to be preheating the oven. Derp. Do you, you are as stupid. You're supposed to preheat the oven before all of this, but whatever. And I also forgot to poke holes in the crust before throwing it in the oven. But guess what? No spoilers, you'll find out what happens. Well, why don't you go set the oven to 350? I was like, why is the light on? I thought it was already on. Someday I hope you learn how to do this. When I realized you didn't know how to do this, I took over so that we wouldn't be spending all night just making crust. But you gotta thin it out. You just keep going around and you make sure it, it covers everything. Every now and then you'll see a big chunk where you can take some and stick it in a spot where there's not enough. Can you give me a spoon? A real spoon? <laughs> yep. Now you can keep it with your lumpy finger shapes. Lumpy finger shapes be like. Or you can grab a spoon and flatten out. That's your preference. Yeah, I was like, are the end viewers going to see that or not in the pie? The end viewers is going to be you and me eating this. That's what I meant. <laughs> the consumers of it. Check the phone and see how long we got to set the timer for. Six to 12 minutes. That's so specific. I know, it's depending on how weak your oven is. But since I have a super weak oven, I, I'm going with 12 minutes. Well, meanwhile, while well, the oven preheats. Since I didn't preheat the oven earlier. Get your 15 ounce can of pumpkin puree and opens it. Mm, mm, mm. 
Don't let it fall. Don't be an idiot, guys. And toss that in your bowl. Toss. I said, toss. Hit toss. it. Hit the bottom. <laughs> Is it tossing? Nope. It's a toss fail. I just wanted it to come out like a tube or something. That would have been funny. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds. So I just noticed the oven's preheated. So stick the crust in the oven for six to 12 minutes or whatever your oven would do. I have poor people oven, but actually in the words of Dave Chappelle, I'm not poor, I'm broke. I said, I fucking hate being poor. My dad got really upset. He just threw his newspaper on the floor and he said, David, 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 you are not poor. You are broke. So poor people oven means uh, it's 12 minutes for me, at least. And grab your dirty half cup measure cup thing from earlier. Dust. And put half cup of heavy cream in there. And then two eggs, one and two. And don't lock the screen phone, I need to read the recipe. And two thirds a cup of your sweetener from your, oops, I accidentally have cocoa powder thing in there stuff thing. This one's optional. I like to add a little bit of monk fruit extract and you literally only need the tip of a spoon. It, it is insanely sweet. You need like a nanogram. Ooh, crisp. And get your tiny thingy what's it that you're about to wipe out. I don't know why these things are so tiny of the pumpkin spice. And you need two teaspoons of that. It's because Starbucks took all of it from you. Because Starbucks took it all. So all that was left for, you know, at home baking Plebeans. enthusiasts is this tiny amount. And it makes me so sad. Why does Starbucks have to destroy everything? We're plebeians, that's the reason. Plebe plebeians. And a quarter teaspoon of, of salt. I like the pink salt. And one whole freaking teaspoon of vanilla extract. That's a lot of vanilla flavor. Yep. Now you gotta beat it up until it's a smooth texture. That's right. This is the time when you get to apply violence. And I'll mix it up whatever way you normally mix things up. <gasps> Oh my god, he's mixing it up the normal way people normally mix it up. Oh, it's beeping. That means it comes out. <sighs> I can't grip it with this big glove. <sighs> All right, so you That's just it. a gigantic mitten. It does not look done to me, so I'm putting it back. <laughs> now let's give it some more minutes. You want it to be goldeny fresh looking. It does not look goldeny fresh. All right, random time check. Oh, I didn't poke it with a fork earlier. <coughs> Fail! I saw it bubbling up. You're supposed to poke it everywhere with a fork. <clears throat> Don't drop it. Drop it. Don't jinx me. You're supposed to do this before you even start baking it. And look how thick it got in there because I didn't do this. That's why I didn't evenly cook, I'm assuming. It's, yeah, it's not even like... It's like 30% cooked everywhere else. Weird looking ladle spoon to the rescue. This is not the kind of thing you put in mac and cheese, but it doesn't actually send it out, so it's kind of useless. Uh, wh what? <laughs> Maybe. All right, I've made keto pumpkin pie crust lots of times. And I've never seen it do this weirdness. It has to be because I didn't poke it with the holes. Skill issue. Aren't you supposed to do that with pie anyway? Yes. Looks like it's actually starting to brown now. Yeah. I'm gonna check it and turn it. Cause the front part looks like it's not cooking as much. So I'm turning it around and throw it back in. <laughs> I set the phone down right and pointed at your face for perfect framing for that yawn. All right, that's enough. I don't want to burn it. Don't burn it. It's beyond goldeny fresh. That's too fresh. A little golden in the middle and it's a little browner on the outside. So a little less than this, okay? And remember to poke it with the fork holes before you gotta bake it. Now you have to let it sit for 10 minutes before you put the pie crust, pie crust, before you put the filling in it. 
the pie crust in it. Oh, and meanwhile, you turn the oven down to 325. All right, now I've waited 10 minutes and I'm gonna put the, the filling in there. Still recording. What you wanna do after you scrape out your bowl is tap it a few times. And if there's any air bubbles, they'll get out. And it'll make it flat, but I'm not super concerned about it being flat. I'm gonna put that into a 325 degrees and freedom units oven for 40 to 50 minutes. But since I got broke, people oven. You are broke. I'm gonna do a whole hour, but I will be checking it, you know, 15, 10, and five minutes before the hour's over to see what it looks like. All right, I just took the pie out. And for me, it was actually in there for about an hour and 10 minutes, a little bit more. I'm gonna show you what it should look like when you jiggle it, only the middle wants to jiggle. And if you're checking it with a toothpick or a fork before you take it out, as you can see over there, I did. It's still a little wet, but it's not soaked. But if you go in the middle, well, ah, clean it off. It's still pretty wet. I guess it's done. I don't know. Spoilers, it's done. But can you tell this is my first time making homemade pumpkin pie? Well, no, tomorrow. If I go to eat it and it falls apart, if it's not baked enough. I know the pie is not burnt, this is because we just cooked the crust wrong earlier. Oops. I thought I'd show you guys how I like to make my whipped topping for pie. And if you're not interested in that, the rest of the information of the, for the pie is as follows. Let it fully cool down and then refrigerate it for at least an hour before you eat it. And you can refrigerate, you can refrigerate it overnight if you want. This is my own recipe for whipped cream so there's no link to put in the descriptables or whatever so i guess grab a pen and some paper or what it, or something start with one cup of heavy whipping cream and toss that in and then get a whisk thingy what's it i like to do it at an angle like this because it likes to fly up and splash so just get all over the freaking counter and you're going to want to start at a lower speed and as it starts to thicken up you're going to gradually make it go faster Now that's about the uh, thickness you want right there. When you pick it up with the whisk and it wants to stick to it. All right, fall off the whisk. You're done. Toss. And then a half teaspoon of vanilla. Toss. Start folding that together. A little bit of twirling and not stirring. Don't stir it, you'll destroy it. You'll flatten it out. I need my freaking Sweetener that has chocolate in it by accident, oops. And then, man, I gotta wash this. Anyways, half cup of your allulose, fold it in. Just do like a quarter of it at a time and fold it in. This might be too much for that pie, but that's fine. You can cut my recipe in half. Now that I'm looking at this giant bowl of goop. Mmm. Taste test approves. You get some of this stuff. And cover it just like so and stick it in the fridge. Mm, pie looks so good. Close! We're about to try the pie. But before that, make sure you like and subscribe and click the bell thingy and change the setting in there so you actually get notified. It's not my fault. I'm not in charge of YouTube. I don't make the freaking rules. Anyways, the next day, we had pizza with crust that was made from chickpeas. I didn't buy it on purpose, actually. Long story short, I had on my Kroger delivery order the same brand, but it was pizza with crust made of chickpeas because it's lower carbs. And it put it out of the cart into like a mail delivery cart. Like what? So the person texted me who says, I can add whatever you need to the order. Just tell me. And I said, can you get the pizza that has crust made out of chickpeas? And they misunderstood and got me just crust. And then it's like, crap, now I have to get cheese. So I had to do another Kroger delivery order a couple days later. And they're like, I took this out of your cart because we couldn't find it. And it said, Kraft uh, 16 ounce mozzarella. So I was like, no, get me the Kroger brand. And they're like, they're out of 16 ounces. And I'm like, we'll get two bags of eight ounces. And so they're like, oh, I'll just get the party size for you. No, two bags of eight ounces. 
So they got one bag of eight ounce, and I had to go get the other one myself from Kroger and get tempted and buy other things I shouldn't have bought. But then after we ate the pizza, I should calm down. It was pie time. Yummy, yummy, heavenly, delicious pie time. With all the benefits of no gluten from the pizza or the pie. And that's why I included this rant in here, so that you would know that chickpea crust is an option if you don't like gluten. All right, back to the video. Okay, so the, the crust might be a little bit burnt. Maybe you just don't have a cheap oven like we do. And remember to poke it before you put it in, but I think it's just burnt around the top. I've done that before and I just broke that part off. And it's sticking. I'm gonna tear this up. Oh, it's not that bad. I just want to eat the liquid out of that thing, or whatever you call that. The liquid out of what? The pumpkin, pumpkin part. It tastes like pumpkin. <laughs> tastes like pumpkin. Do you want cream? Are you gonna try it without the cream first? Mmm. Is it good? Mmm. Mm. That tastes like pumpkin pie. You want some cream? Yeah. Well, I said nah. Oh, I she said yeah. When you said is that cream, I said yes, you said good. Do you make whipped cream? Yep. Good. Making sure it wasn't a biohazard. That just tastes like cream, normal cream. Well, I did whip it, but maybe you guys can tell me in the comments how to whip it better so it's not as flat. I'm here using a spoon that was supposed to be used for the, the cream. That's why I had to grab another spoon. No. Even though I had a fork over here. Mm. So good. Oh my gosh. That takes me back to homemade pies that I got from my parents when I was a kid. Yeah, can you get me more pumpkin material because I want that? Yes, I'm going to give you more because I accidentally gave you a tiny piece. So here's time for the awkward end screen. If you want to see the, key, the recipe for the keto pumpkin cheesecake, just look past Charlie's face here to the video over there on the right. And down there on the, on the bottom, corner is the one for how I make turkey every year. Yeah, all right. Goodbye creatures.